Hi, and welcome to video 5 in the Ableton Tips and Tricks video series. Today I'm going to show you a technique I use for editing automation in the arrangement view called Shift Edit Automation. If you look on your screen right now, this is the track volume automation. If you notice, it's all over the place, and this is the result of a MIDI controller that started malfunctioning during a live performance a few months ago. Needless to say, it was not fun. So what I want to do is rectify this problem and get all the automation out of the way and start cleaning it up for listening and exporting to listen back and figure out where the set was good and where the set was bad. But first what I want to do is actually play a part of this to give you an idea of what we are going to clean up. Also, turn your monitors down. I'll give you a few seconds to do so. Well, already for that, you're probably thinking, good lord, what was going on during this live set? All I can say, it wasn't fun during this part. So that said, let's get down to what I want to do, which is shift edit automation. So what we're going to do is find an automation point. It can be any that you want to correct. We're going to bring this one up, in my case, to minus 4 dB below full scale. Then what we want to do is find the next automation point if we zoom in. It's right here, so let me zoom out again. We find that. Now what we want to do is hold down shift, click on that automation point, and drag to the right. And watch all of the automation disappear. So now this is all moving and the automation is completely cleared and I can now move the volume automation down to a consistent minus 4 dB. And I will do the same here. Let me also mention, if you guys have used Ableton for any amount of time, you guys may have started off double clicking and removing automation at one point at a time. But this solves it entirely. So what I'm going to do also here was a fade in and I'm just going to fade the entire track in from this point right here. So I'm going to find the nearest point, hold down shift, click, and bring it up to minus 4.5 dB below full scale. Let me get rid of that point. And right now, we have a track that went from this To this. And that was in the matter of two minutes at most. And I don't know about you, but it sure as heck beats double clicking and removing one automation point at a time. So try this when you guys are editing automation on a track you're working on or a live set. It works for any of those uh, instances. And that concludes this tutorial. Again, my name is Greg, and I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.